Hello all, in the previous video we learned how to run a mule project in any point studio. Today we will learn the different types of flows in mule. First let us let me know what logger will do. Let's drag and drop the logger into the canvas and save the project. Now run the project actually the fastest way to get the information about message in the mule is to log your message to the console the logger will do the logging into the console now it is deployed now let's run it yeah now in console in logger I didn't give any message here I left it blank now by default the logger logs all the information about the mule message except the payload logger log this message in the console now this is the mule information about mule message context and these are all complete list of available properties and variables expressed as key value pairs we can use these properties in our message flows now if we give we anything like um, enter new flow then it will log the this message in the console when we run the project now it is redeploying now when we hit send now in console we'll see enter new flow now this is about the logger now we'll discuss about the flows in new there are three different types of flows out there one is subflow synchronous flow and asynchronous flow the subflow process messages synchronously and always inherits both the processing strategies and exception strategies from the main flow which is triggered by it for example in this flow a flow a triggered the subflow and while triggering it will pass here and enter into this flow after processing the subflow then it will again resume the flow in flow a in subflow it will inherit all the exception strategies from flow a to here if any exception happens here it will inherit those exception strategies defined here we will discuss about exception strategies in next tutorials now let's see for example drag on subflow into the canvas now drag one logger and we'll set on payload here okay now name this subflow as subflow okay now logger will give a log message as entered subflow and payload as subflow payload and to call this subflow we have to insert the flow reference this flow reference will call the subflow we will configure the flow reference call the subflow from the drop down you can select which flow it has to call now save the project and stop the existing project and now run it in before running set a breakpoint here so that we can observe how the flow is going now run it in debug mode it will ask to change the perspective yes now go to postman and hit on send okay. now the control is at subflow 
click this one to go to next processor now it will go to the subflow because the flow reference is calling the subflow now it will go to the subflow and then to the payload it will set the payload there and then to the logger and then to set payload again and then enters yeah now see the result see here after coming here it passes the flow here and it enter into subflow after processing subflow it again resumes the flow in the main flow this is happens in subflow subflow uh, you can write a particular block of code once then reference the same subflow repeatedly from within the same application there is no need of any redundant code by if you use subflows in our code next type of flow is synchronous flow in synchronous flow it is uh, same as subflow but the difference is it won't inherit the passing strategies and exception strategies from the main flow for example let's see here now delete this one we'll draw one more flow here okay and call it as flow now drag one logger and set payload and another logger okay now rename it as entered flow If you observe in this there is the error handling you can define the exception strategy error strategy separately but in subflow there is no exception strategies subflow will inherit from the main flow exception strategies but the synchronous flow has separate exception strategies now let's put a breakpoint here here in flow reference now we have to call the flow now show the project and now it is calling the flow if we select here subflow then it will call the subflow if we call, select flow then it will call the flow now debug the project yeah now go to workman and send now The control is here. We go next. Now control into here. The synchronous flow also same as subflow. The control will be paused here. After processing the flow, called flow, then it will resume the process here. Only difference is it won't inherit the processing strategies and exception strategies from the main flow. Now next is asynchronous flow. In asynchronous flow, the main flow will call the subflow, but it won't pause here. The main flow execution will be running parallel with respect to the subflow. Uh, let's see here now call async scope into the canvas. This uh, in async scope, whatever elements are present in this, they are called asynchronously. We will see these details in next tutorials now drag the flow reference into this async now the flow reference will call this flow asynchronously we'll put one more breakpoint in logger because we have to it has the flow has to stop here so that we will understand how the missile processing is happening now save the project and running debug mode change the perspective now go to postman 
and hit send. Now the control now it call this flow subflow and the control is here it means it call the flow and went here now this is one thread now click on next process process now next thread will call the subflow so the main thread processing is completed now the another thread is processing parallelly so in asynchronous flow the main thread won't stop until the sub thread sub process will complete the processing so this will be useful when we are inserting into the external db switch or which process or late so that the main flow won't wait until this processing will happen mainly asynchronous flows are not used for transactional purposes now that's all for today thank you